So Web Analytics 2.0 is my second book, and, and the core essence of the book is to try and get marketers to think about data less and to think about marketing more, is to try and figure out um, how marketing as we know it has changed in dramatic ways and how we have to evolve what we think about as success in also dramatic ways. So it presents this hypothesis that you should think about measurement in a more complex way, right? Don't be satisfied with page views and measure loyalty and don't be satisfied with just shouting at people, but to, to engage them to drive long-term outcomes and economic values for the company. So the book is a cluster of ideas that you can implement um, right away. Like, like one of the things I try to do is make things commonsensical and simple, even if they are complex, that you can go back and implement right away. In order to think about how marketing on the web um, mobile apps, websites, whatever is dramatically different from TV magazines and everything else we do and that you should expect more and here are a set of solutions that allow you to accelerate uh, you, any company, small business or medium size to, to, to think about marketing differently, to think about measurement differently and as I, as I, as I say in my opening, is figure out how to fail faster and fail forward because that's the process that's actually quite time consuming in the offline world that we live in. I, I love the, I love the, I, I deal with data, and so I love the fact that it is called the art of marketing, because, because to me, marketing is about influence, marketing is about creating experiences, and at the end of it, you know, delivering some values for our companies, but, but, the, the purity that the word art brings is it, it allows us to think about influence, think about experience. And then the great thing about this particular conference where I definitely spend a lot of time talking about digital marketing is that the kind of art that you can execute on digital channels is unparalleled and unmatched by any other channel that exists on the planet. So I, I very much like the idea of combining these two words together. And the magnificent thing is that people who are coming to the Auto Marketing Conference are, are trying to figure out how not to allow decisions inside their companies to be made by some few senior leaders sitting in a boardroom. People I call hippos, right? The highest paid person's opinion wins. But rather, in the world that we live in here, in the world that we talk about at this conference, it's not just one person says, oh, my gut says it doesn't work. But to say, let's create a cluster of ideas let's have an ideas democracy let's put these pieces of our craft out there and allow consumers to tell us in real time what works and then we scale that way and so so I love I love the fact that it's the art of marketing and not the science because the spirit of it is that you go out you try things you learn in real time and you optimize what you do when it comes to finding people to influence and then using great experiences to convince them that you are God's gift to humanity. I love this question. I, I, I do very much love this question. You know, one of the things, so, so even on my own story, I, I share with people how I had presented at a couple of conferences, nothing much, and somebody, uh, Andy Beal, he walked up to me and he said, oh my God, you're so passionate, you've got to have a blog. This is five years ago. And I said to Andy, me, like, who cares what I have to say, right? I thought only pompous people have blogs. <laughs> and, and he persisted, and I started a blog. And the thing that has been my most amazing learning through this process is how incredibly easy it is for every person and brand to grow out and create their own platform. In the past, if you wanted reach, if you wanted to put your ideas out there, you needed permission, or you needed money right? Otherwise, only people with, with those two things would have something from where they can talk, influence people. Now, there's no barrier, right? When I started my blog, 100% free. I have, I have a very active following on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, all free. The only thing I've come to realize that is holding us back from having our own platforms, our personal platforms, or, or companies from having their own platforms, is their ability to imagine. Because the platforms are free. There are millions of people on these platforms. Do you have the courage to go out and start doing things, right? And, and, and do it from this 
pure, pure perspective of trying to add value to the world, not go out and pimp yourself, right? What is it the one thing that you're really good at, that you're really passionate about? Because these platforms have no cost and you don't need anybody's permission to go out and do this. So the fact that these two things happen is, is, is a lesson that I have learned that has been very valuable and I've executed since then. So now I have a professional platform that is my own and I am a participant in my company's platform. So both of those things exist. But, but the fact that it is so easy, you don't need permission, and you can start for free is, is a gift from God to each and every one of us. And the only thing limiting us is our ability to imagine and our ability to go out and contribute something of value. Because if you contribute something of value, you will get 10x back from that. I, I, I am brilliantly excited about this possibility for myself, for you, and for every company and person in the world.